Hey everyone, today I wanted to do a video talking to you about how I did this paint job on my SLR 107. Hopefully at this point you've already seen my multicam paint job tutorial. Uh, on this one I decided to take a little bit of a different approach and do more of a uh, snakeskin or dragon scale style. You can be the judge of uh, how closely it actually resembles that in its final product. Um, but basically the tools that I used were the uh, paints from Rust-Oleum, they're dedicated camo paints which are a matte finish and I used the khaki, the deep forest green and then it's the whatever the dark brown is called, I can't remember, it'll be in the video. I did a couple base coats of the khaki and then I went ahead and wrapped it in burlap, secured it down with some clothes pins and then painted over it with the forest green and with the dark brown. Now some of the prep work you're going to have to do before you actually start painting, uh, I myself, I went ahead and taped over the rear sight to keep any paint from getting on that, as, and, as well as the front sight, and then I also taped over the lenses on my primary arms advanced micro dot just to make sure that nothing actually uh, got on the lens. I even took the extra step to throw some paint on the underside below the uh, actual safety here just to make sure that no paint got inside the uh, got inside the receiver even though it probably wouldn't hurt anything as you can see I even painted the bolt carrier itself and I had no issues there so don't feel obligated to tape over the bolt carrier or anything like that and then I even just threw an extra mag in to my magwell just to make sure that no paint got inside the magwell or anything like that and then I also want to mention as you can see uh, probably the barrel around the gas block is a lot darker and that's actually from a heat test I did for a Trijicon MRO a while back for a separate channel which I'll link below. So as you can see um, the heat will affect the paint itself. It did bubble a little bit and it definitely did burn it. Um, so the camo paint from rust -Oleum is not necessarily heat resistant but I can say under normal firing the paint holds up just fine but again you'll see the uh, significant amount of shooting that we were doing very quickly which caused that. Just as a note I only show painting one side of it because I figured it would be pointless to show you both sides when the process is exactly the same. So uh, you'll only see one side. So I'll go ahead and hand this off to me from a couple months ago and walk you through the process. Okay, so so far I've done a base layer with this uh, khaki color from, uh, from Rust-Oleum. So I just did the whole rifle both sides with this. And I'm going to wrap it with this uh, burlap here which is going to do the uh, snake scale pattern and uh, hopefully I can get it nice and tight around it and then I'm going to go over it with the green and the brown. Okay, so I got this wrapped up in uh, the burlap. It took me a little bit to get it how I wanted it um, and I'm still going to have to press down tight uh, in a lot of areas just so I get a nice uh, solid scale look to it and it doesn't get all blotchy. So I'm going to start with the uh, little dark green I got here. Again from Rustoleum. This one is the forest green. And then I'm going to go over it again with the dark brown and I'll show you that one when I get to it. Alright, sorry about that. I had to wait for a train to pass. But while that was happening I decided to start with the brown first and then I'll accent in with the green. So now I'm going to go on to the uh, forest green here. Uh, hopefully I can press this down a little tighter because I'm not sure if I'm getting quite as uh, defined lines as I was hoping for.
All right, so I'm going to let it sit like this for a couple minutes, and then I'm going to take the burlap off and uh, see how it looks. All right, so I let this sit for a little bit, and now I'm going to take off all the clothespins. Uh, as you can see, in some places I was just using them to keep it tight, uh, and in some places just using it to weigh it down to help keep it nice and flat. All right, well, there you go. I'll uh, try to take some still photos so you guys can kind of get a better idea what the final product looks like, but feel free to let me know. I uh, hope this video helped if you're interested in doing a paint scheme like this, and uh, thanks for watching.